And I want to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. Ryan here for some coverage on 3D Capital. It's a holdings company that's come across my desk here, and it has gotten my attention. Look to pay this uh, forward for you and your awareness. I will leave the links to uh, 3dcapital.com. You're going to want to check this company out. This is interesting. This is, uh, put quite simply, a holding company that has been in the making for many, many years, and it has been under the radar uh, but uh, looking to take uh, a few of their companies to commercial state uh, and looking to come onto the landscape and introduce themselves to the grander investor uh, audience out there and, and really look to capitalize on what many consider to be uh, the fourth revolution here since the industrial revolution here through the AI uh, transition. And the AI transition that everybody is excited about is alive and well uh, and many schools of thought would suggest that it is going to be longstanding uh, and many, many profits to be made from it. 3D Capital is a holding company, so they represent many in the microcap space, companies that you've probably never heard of that are working on ground floor innovative technologies uh, to improve not only existing technology through hardware, but also uh, to augment through technology uh, our failing infrastructure in our cities uh, and, and looking to really improve upon what we've uh, been accustomed to uh, in some of the revolutionary products. We'll highlight a few of those in just a moment, but before we get started, to introduce 3D Capital, I'd like to give you guys, uh, it is traded under the OTC uh, ticker symbol, uh, IDKFF, so you can find that. And I will provide links to 3dcapital.com, which I found all of the information used in the making of this video, as well as an interview that I covered uh, by Sheldon Inwintosh, the company's CEO, where he was able to walk us through some insights on the companies that they uh, that they represent and and why it is such an exciting time uh, to borrow from the Berkshire Hathaway model of of a holding company, but doing so with some innovative companies and companies that are really looking to uh, break in on the ground floor, companies that are making really respectful revenues and expected to grow, uh, making partnerships with the likes of Google and, and many others almost speaks to more of a more aggressive product that everybody understands out there in the marketplace. And that is through what Kathy Wood offers through the ARC ETF product. But 3D Capital is, is fantastic. I do want to mention one of the companies that really got my attention. I'll mention the two, but the one that really took the uh, really went to the forefront for me, and it's discussed by the CEO, uh, is is Toda Q. Uh, with the blockchain technology and the limitations that are being discovered on that, Toda really rethinks what is possible with um, with the blockchain and provides technology that is allowing for things to happen in a way that they have never been possible before. And specifically, my friends, I'm talking about microtransactions, okay? This is a term you're going to want to become familiar with. Uh, it is one that uh, 3D Capital has been working on for quite some time, and it enjoys uh, the opportunity to augment what we know about transactions now, which there's transactions in all of our daily lives, and the truth of the matter is, and you can agree with me or disagree, I'm one of those that don't like subscription models. I don't sign up for them because you use the product one or two times, and then you never use the product, and you're still on the hook to uh, carry out that membership or, um, or, or monthly subscription fee until you cancel, okay? What... Toda Q and their app is uh, proposing is to allow for more of an a la carte customer experience where you utilize a, a product and you pay for that service one time and one time only on a micro transaction that is made possible by the software brought forward by uh, by Toda and 3D Capital is invested in this company it really got my attention and it got me thinking about really revolutionizing an industry that has uh, long since earmarked or lost out on people and their 
um, their ability to to pick and choose the content that they wish to consume, be charged for that a much less uh, of a fee in way of a significant discount, but for the recipient of the technology can really benefit from the you know the hundreds of thousands if not millions of microtransactions that go on and the end user is happy in that they can pay for the service as they want another company that that was mentioned here offered under the 3d capital envelope is the ability to check your blood pressure it's something that is on the forefront it's something with people with hypertension is monitoring and the very same technology that was not made possible by cardano blockchain is made possible in the technology that's represented by 3d capital and the idea that you pay you know fractions of a penny if not you know maybe even a penny if you check your blood pressure when you choose instead of paying a 599 service cheap fee or membership fee uh to check that maybe one or two times or even 10 times throughout the year it just makes sense and the customer is the one who benefits from it but if we can bring more people into the awareness state in truly understanding how monumental this technology could possibly be uh, i i think there's something here to be had and it was interesting sheldon on the interview mentioned that the companies that are represented under the 3d capital envelope have been evolving for multiple years, seven years specifically, and now coming to the forefront here in a timely manner, the stock popped at 66 cents and now has digressed a third or two thirds of that and sits at around 22 cents US, uh, sporting a market cap just over 11 million. And so for those investors out there with an appetite to get a little bit more venture, uh, in in their portfolio, it's kind of a venture philosophy, but from a public perspective, uh, in that your your capital invested always remains liquid. And Sheldon has a history of of taking these companies from from nothing to something, uh, and providing uh, returns historically upwards of a hundred and fifty fold on some of his other projects. So he really does have an eye for this. It's intriguing enough to look at. I'm adding it to my watch list with a consideration of taking a position in the company. And I suggest that you use the resources that I provide to you in understanding where this company is, where its current market cap sits, what the opportunity is with the existing landscape and the AI revolution. I will be reporting more out on the company. As I was fascinated, I did three or four hours of due diligence before coming on. Um, and it's a very, very simple concept. And in today's age, with the emergence of and the implementation of how we make the most sense of AI and how we augment um, our daily lives, machine to machine communication, machine to headphone to brain communication, which is a company that I didn't mention here on this video, will follow on with uh, chronicling uh, a lot of the companies currently sits at 61 companies uh, from 3D Capital, but just a great opportunity to take a look at. Again, the ticker symbol is IDKFF. 3dcapital.com. I'll save all of the links in the description and the comments below for you guys. If you enjoy the content coming through the Independent Investor channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you've heard of 3D before and you like what you see, leave your comments at the bottom of the video. We can strike up a discussion about what these guys bring to bear here. We're from a value proposition here early on in the game quite frankly, in the evolution of 3D capital, but on a much grander scale, the AI revolution as a whole. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this awareness video on 3D capital, and good luck in your investment future.